Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Not Deb Chain or nothing like that. Deb, don't forget that L after the E. Chanel 48th World. Okay, this is my YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's get into a top story that I was following today. But before we do that, please subscribe, share my videos, and like my videos. That's so important to me. If you can do that, I greatly appreciate it. But what's trending in the social media realm, the social media platform, is none other than Candy Burris. She put out an article or had a conversation that Atlanta Black Star put out on her beloved friend, Cynthia Bailey. Yes, yeah, she's trying to uh, give Cynthia Bailey some advice on dating. She's pretty much telling Cynthia to pop the brakes. Pump the brakes on her love affair when it comes to Mike Hill. Don't rush into anything. Cynthia out there picking wedding dresses, probably picking her own ring, and she's just rushing, 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 trying to get to that altar. And Candy like, look, girl, how many times am I going to have to tell you, Portia, and the rest of my co-workers? All right. Look, you remember when I tried to tell Portia about Dennis McKinley and how he had other women's tattoos on his um, body and he was going around bring, buying them gifts and this, that, and the third. And, you know, I had to cuss Portia out because she had got downright insensitive with me. And I'm just telling her the truth. Look, girl, your man is fooling around downtown, uh, in the country, in the suburbs. That way he laid low and spread it wide, okay? That's what I'm talking about. But no, the person had to be like a little thought, run out there, get engaged. Then she ex uh, called herself getting pregnant. And she ain't got no bag solidified, okay? So now she's somebody's baby mama, all right, as we speak, because... Some things have come out on Dennis. Honey, she pregnant with Dennis' child, but a lot of bestiality is going on. A lot of rumors on him being with women, other women, and dating other women when she's supposed to be dating her monogamously. And, you know, it's just a whole lot. And Candy's like, uh-uh, girl, pump your brakes. Please pump your brakes. Don't be like Portia. And I'm trying to tell you, please listen. Be one that listens. Don't be one that falls for anything. And, you know, she's pretty much telling uh, homegirl, Cynthia, look, don't be rushing to get married. Take some time with this relationship. You ain't known this man one year and you ready. You six months in to know him and ready to throw yourself to a, a wedding altar, breaking down vows and everything. She's saying, pop your brakes, girl. And like I said, Cynthia, let's take a look at some of the men Cynthia has went through. That picture is somebody I'm sure she had in her earlier heyday. We know that's Leon, her first baby daddy. She's the baby daddy of Miss Noelle Robinson. And of course, you know, her and Peter didn't have any children together. But then you remember this little guy, on, I think it was on season 10, and he got to arguing with Eva Marcellus because, you know, we brought her on. Uh, Bravo brought her on to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. And she was just dropping tea on that man. She said, uh-uh, I seen him at a, a function we were having with my uh, future husband. And, you know, we were, uh, what do you call it, rallying around. And he's a bit supportive of my husband trying to get him elected here in Atlanta, Georgia, honey. Uh-uh, he with somebody totally opposite. He was saying he didn't have no girlfriend. And that's at the same time he should have been dating you, Cynthia. And Cynthia, you know, she's calling herself dipping and dabbing in the little lady pool thinking she's a, a lesbian one, you know, some days and then she's heterosexual the next. I'm like, girl, please. Two failed relationships we're looking at. Don't really know who this man is, but maybe she was dating him in the social media world just to, you know, poke fun at um, Peter Thomas. Who knows? But in my retrospect, in my eyes, my opinion, I think she substituted Mike Hill for Nene Leakes. You know what I'm saying? The failed relationship between them because that's all she was with, Nene, all the time. Nene up, Nene, yeah. So I just really feel Mike Hill is a replacement for that. And if it does have her to get married to him, then so be it. You know, that's what she wants. She already done introduced her to the crew, her, her co-workers, their family members. Then, you know, her arch nemesis, she took pictures with her, her soon-to-be beau husband, you know, and then she's with Candy. 
You know, and Candy, like, girl, I ain't finna let you go out like that. Just because you're suffering from anxiety and separation <laughs> from Nene, ain't no sense of putting Mike Hill in the equation, okay? I mean, do you really love him? Are you in love with him? Or it's just the act of wanting to be somebody's wife? Because I'm, I'm like Candy. Let's pump our brakes. Because to me, Mike looks more like an opportunist than anything. And you trying to pick dresses and trying to clock his tea or when he's going to propose to you. Do you really want a man that way, Cynthia? That's pretty much what Candy said. Do you really want a man like that where you have to beg and, and prompt him and send him messages about marriage? Like you don't know nothing about it. Hell, he's been married before. He got two children. Okay? So I, I, I don't understand what's going on. You were once in love with this man, trying to pawn him off on us as somebody you loved. Okay? And then Candy then was telling, you know, pretty much him, because Todd was right there with him when they was trying to sail on a little boat to have a little outing on the lake. Man, are you trying to go with Cynthia for some money or whatever? Because we're looking at you. She's a good girl. But we ain't going to let you take advantage of her either. Okay? So that was my spiel, my take on what I was doing. But let's get into this article that uh, Kirsten Willis calls herself putting out on behalf of the uh, um, paper that she works for, a magazine, Atlanta Black Star. Dot com get into it they break news here and there and some of it's appealing to me so i come on with that commentary okay but it's titled she's doing the most candy birds doesn't hold back feelings about cynthia bailey's relationship with my field and i'm out here for it because i'm like i mm -mm. i'm team cynthia meaning team cynthia don't make a fool out yourself again don't have your sister and your mama hiding your uh marriage license certificate <laughs> Okay, they did it with you and Peter. Okay, don't have them do it again with Mike Hill. Or pretty much don't even show up to your wedding because they feel you're making a drastic mistake once again. Okay, you're sitting up there uh, dating somebody for, what, a month to six months and, oh, it's true love, you must get married. You ain't been dating that man a year. You may be coming up on a year when we start back in the fall looking at you know, season 12 of Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm like, girl, stop it. Girl, you're doing too much, Cynthia. But that was my pun intended. Getting back to the article that Kirsten Willis wrote on the piece. Let me give you the title again. She says, she's doing the most. And most, that's uh, the, the part of that sentence or that statement or that comment, she's doing the most. It means, and me breaking it down or how I think it's uh, being displayed as, meaning you're showing out. You might make a fool out of yourself. Calm down. Let's look at everything before you approach the situation or how you think you want to go about it. Let's look at the pros. Let's look at the cons. Okay. She's doing the most is meaning you're doing just too much that you don't need. You're doing everything extra. You know, if you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, good. Just put the peanut butter and jelly on it. There your sandwich. Ain't nobody told you to put no sprinkles on it along with some uh, icing. That's doing the most for that sandwich. You see what I'm saying? Just to give you an idea of where I'm going or how I'm thinking. So I'm thinking she's putting 20 on 10. Okay. Or, or, or putting 1,000 on 20 or 20 on 1,000 when you don't have to be reacting this way. And, and just putting it out there. Like she's constantly telling Mike or sending him subliminal messages or hell, just sending him a damn right photo. Look, here's a picture of a wedding cake. Here's a picture of a ring. Here's a picture of my dress. Here's a picture of the tux. Like he don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I'm like, he been there before, baby. You don't have to prompt a proposal out of him. It should come naturally. Okay, boo. So getting on to it, it says she's doing the most. Candy Burris doesn't hold back feelings about Cynthia Bailey's relationship with Mike Hill. Okay, anybody don't know who Mike Hill is? He's a, a newscaster. He's a sports uh, person, correspondent. He covers all uh, things sports related. All right. We go into the article. It says Candy Burris is not mincing words when it comes to what she thinks of how Cynthia Bailey's eagerness to remarry. The singer was put in the hot seat during a recent stop on People's TV, which is reality check, when asked to relay something sweet and something juicy about her, the Real Housewives of Atlanta's co-stars. Bailey was the first one up. 
Burris began by complimenting her co-star, saying uh, she's gorgeous, she's an amazing model, but also a great businesswoman. However, the escape performer admitted Bailey's downfall is her online antics concerning her relationship with boyfriend Mike Hill. She's doing the most online, popping up pictures in the wedding shop before the wedding has been had, Burris says. But I said to her, but I said it to her though, so she knows what I think. The wedding shop pic Burris is referring to is an image Bailey shared on her Instagram story in April. Bailey photographed a series of wedding gowns at formerly yours bridal shop in Atlanta suburb of Liberum, Georgia. So many dresses, so little time. Bailey captioned the photo in which she also tagged her Fox Sports one bow. So he works for Fox uh, newscasting uh, for the sports section. Like Burris revealed, I'm sorry, like Burris, several Real Housewives of Atlanta fans felt the mood came off as overkill, especially when there has been no word of Hill getting down on bended knee. And I'm, I, you know, that's what I'm saying, Cynthia. You're doing too much. Okay, you're, you're feeding the cow. Or how they say, Mike already getting the milk. Why he need to buy the cow? Okay, he already renting you, boo. You already made that mistake. That's your first mistake that you made into this relationship if you want him. You're wanting him to marry you, okay? Why should he? You're giving him everything. Everything. So why should he be in a rush? Because I knew you were dropping uh, hidden subliminal messages when y'all took a trip somewhere. Uh, I think you had said that y'all was at somebody's wedding, attending their wedding. And it had a little beach saying y'all was sitting cuddled up or walking on the beach and this, that, and third. You're throwing out hints vacation, honeymoon, and all this crap. I'm like, girl, Cynthia, if a man wants you, he would have been proposed. If he wants you, he will propose. But do you have to do all these unnecessary antics? If the man want to marry you, girl, let him get on, like can say, on bended knee. Okay? But it's so forced. It's so rushed now. If he do it, he's only doing it because he don't want to seem like a heel. You know what I'm saying? And that's the worst type of proposal you should want from a man. It should come out the spur of the moment. I mean, it, when things start clicking together, you may figure it out. But then you knew it was more so he was ready. He's wanting to do that. It's not like he's being forced. or, or It's shoved down his throat, you know, to make it happen. You know, I'm like, nah, you should have set your rules, had your standards, like no cookies, no getting from the cookie jar until we get a understanding of where this relationship going. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to date? Are you going to be mad? Are we monogamous? You know, we need to go at least a year. You know, I need some time to think. I need to see how you move because you might be starting to move a little funny and I may not like it. You know what I'm saying? And I have that right because you remember who I am? Yes, I'm a household name. I'm sitting there, Bailey, honey. Put some respect on my name plus I got Lake Bailey. I got all these other uh, financial revenue streams. I mean, I need to be wondering, do I want to put my life in your hands, babe. I want to know what you bring into the table. I want to know what's what. You know what I'm saying? These are the questions she be she should be asking and flowing, not trying to say, "Oh, I need to find the best wedding gown." Because you're looking at wedding gowns that are white, boo. No, you don't need you. You already been married to Peter. And you already done gave the milk away for free, girl. You need to do another gown like that sexy silk when you had uh they when you married Peter that was very elegant and oh honey y'all took some sharp pictures together even after y'all got married when y'all did like a little photo shoot oh child y'all was so dapper together I wish Peter wasn't so money hungry and ill advised in the business world where he be tanking uh little revenue streams he do have you know it's just a hot mess but y'all was just the perfect looking couple other than you and Leon. Oh, you and Leon, like y'all could have just so many babies together and everything just be lovely. I don't know why, Cynthia, why you won't go back to him, okay? Oh, I tell you, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. The pattern's with you, Cynthia. It's not with the man you're, you're engaging with. It's with you. So it's something broken. 
You need to fix it and not continuously try to be in relationship after relationship and getting married after, you know, marriage after marriage. No, Cynthia. No, break the cycle. There's something wrong. I think you need to sit and be realistic about it and fix it. Okay? Because it just seems like you're one of them type of women that just have to have a man in your life and some permanency going on. So I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of worried. I'm like Candy Girl. I'm kind of worried about you. But anyway, getting back to this um, article that was written, we go back when Candy says, uh, like Burris, several Real Housewives of Atlanta fans felt the move came off as overkill, especially when there has been no word of heel getting down on bended knee. She's looking for dresses before he looks for a ring. Jesus, take the wheel and drive fast. <laughs> now, I don't know if Candy said that. That was a, a person just in her comment section because I like that. Yes, Jesus, take the wheel and press on the gas. Let's see if this uh, car can move to 200. Okay, because Cynthia done lost her mind. We need to go find her mind. Where did it get dropped off at? Where did it jump out at? We, we need to go find her missing mind. Okay, and, you know, the brain, okay, because it's definitely not attached to her body. And that was my pun intended. And then somebody's asking, where is the ring yet? That's what I'm talking about, girl. Where is the ring? Where is the 14 carats? Where is the, you know, where is the bling bling? Okay, hell, you got to have that. Where's the gold wedding band? Where is the wedding band? All right. But anyway, moving on from that, it goes on to say shopping for a dress before the ring, putting the cart before the horse, as my mom would say. Oh, see here. Cynthia is going to going to wait a minute, Cynthia. Wait a minute. Number C Hill. I mean, I guess Hill means C, C for Cynthia and Hill. He tried to put it together. That's corny as hell. Okay, quirky. But he was trying to say, Cynthia, it's going to happen. Do things in the right order. <laughs> That's what a commentary or, or a person that was jumping in her comments was saying. But I remember him when he was um, saying something <laughs> on one of his Instagram posts. He put C Hill. Like, girl, please. Uh uh. Ain't no C Hill. It's either Mrs. Hill or it ain't nothing. You know, that's what you need to tell him. I don't want to say give a man an ultimatum because it might not turn out in your favor, but it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They're either go smooth sailing with him, let things happen naturally, and just, you know, take your time, okay? Because you might see some things that you hadn't actually got a chance to view because you're rushing. You're looking at one, you're just having tunnel vision. You're just looking straight one way, and you're looking at everything on the side and things that come with it. Because he got two children, honey. He got two children. I'm sure the mother's in their lives, but still, when you marry a man that got two children, you want to take responsibility of them kids, too, when he's supposed to be over there with y'all and y'all in this blended family type of mixture you putting together. Girl, okay, and then Noel, you got Noel now. Noel might not even be wanting to be bothered with all that mess, okay, because she had to put up with you and Peter for a long time, okay? So, and she's trying to struggle, trying to get through uh, college and find herself. She got time to be worried about you, Cynthia, because everybody has to sit and pause. You know how they say the men all pause, the women all pause and think about, okay, what the hell is Cynthia doing? Okay, do we need to have an intervention? But do we need to get her straight? Do we need to get her together or something? Okay, before she don't lose, lose the rest of her body with her mind that we're still trying to find. Okay, moving on from there, back to the commentary. It says, it was later discovered that Bailey may have been at the bridal shop to buy a bridesmaid's dress for a friend's Memorial Day weekend destination wedding. She was part of in Jamaica. See, that's what I was telling y'all earl earlier. She was just dropping subliminals. But now, nah, honey, she was also looking at them wedding dresses, wondering how she would look in it. But you don't need to be over there in the crispy white ones. You need to be in that blended uh, anti-white off uh, beige type dress. Because, uh-uh, she's tainted. Okay? Don't go there, Cynthia. Don't try that one. Don't ride that horse, baby. Okay? Moving on, going back to the commentary, it says, although it may seem as if Bailey is pushing getting married to Hill sooner rather than later, she's also said on the reel in March that she's enjoying taking her time with her boyfriend. Yeah, she said that in March, but in April she said something else different, okay? So each month she's moving uh, very fervently and faster than she's ever pursued a man before, okay? She don't put that pedal to the metal and she wants to drive and be Mrs. Hill and not Miss Cynthia Bailey. 
I'm like, I don't know. C. C Bailey looks good to me. C. Bailey looks good. C. Bailey is getting her own coin, her own dollars, her own stream of revenue. She don't need to be Mrs. yet until she find out what C. Bailey can really do. Okay? For herself. Anyway, moving on from that, that was my pun intended, my sidebar. Going back, it says, I want to marry this man. I love this man, she said. We have time. When Mike is ready and when God is ready, that's when we'll get married. No, Cynthia, you ain't waiting on God. Cause God probably done showed you many signs of where you need to be pumping brakes <laughs> around now. But, you know, people get too much to say, oh, God put this together. Nah, if it's coming up to be a mess, y'all having arguments, y'all, you know, having disagreements. Nah, that's not, Lord don't want you with that person, okay? Because y'all haven't come to the conclusion that y'all need to be on that one frame of mind of thinking. It's one. One way we're going to be doing stuff and we're going to have to be in a committed relationship where we're thinking as one and not separate. And I don't, I don't see that when it comes to Mr. Hill or Cynthia Bailey. OK, she's just rushing to be missing somebody. So leave God out of a sense. Leave God. This is just you and your temperament and what you want and what you want to see yourself in the next couple of months or at least uh, next year. You want to be missing. Ain't got nothing to do with it. Because God is, ain't going to be around no fussing, no arguing, no chaos. He ain't going to be in no indecision, no double-minded type standards, no double-minded thinking. It's going to be one one accord. Everything going to be crispy, clean. Ain't going to be no giving no milk away before the cow is boughting. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me. So that's all I had when I had to talk about this. Okay, but she going back to the commentary, it says... When God is ready, that's when we'll get married. However, however, however. Okay, see all that however? Mm -mm, that ain't working for me, Cynthia. But going back, it says, I do predict that Mike and God will be ready next time, sometime next year. See what I'm saying? You're playing with the Lord. You don't know what the Lord has in store for you next year, Cynthia. You really don't know. Don't predict. Don't be a fortune teller. Don't be a sue seeker. Just chill, baby. Just chill. Because you already don't put this in fruition. You don't say, this is what I want. Not even thinking about, Lord, is this man the right man for me? You should be on definitely both knees, praying day and night. Every chance you get a chance to pray. If you can't get on your knees, you just be in your thoughts. Praying, Lord, show me if this man is for me. Show me all his faults. Okay, show me all his shortcomings. So I'll know. This is what I'm going to have to be looking at for the rest of my life. Because it is supposed to be to death do us part through sickness and hell. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't get that same opportunity to Peter. Hell, Peter was right in your bank account. You're like, forget this. I'm out. And do this. <laughs> forget about any infidelity if there were any. You know, but we just knew he was draining your bank account because you was like pretty much telling us that's what he was doing. And you could not be a part of that or maintain a relationship with that behavior. Okay, so uh, that was my point of attention. Getting back to the article, it says, we talked about it all the time. Or we talk about it all the time, she can tell you. See, that's the problem. Why you got to talk about something that's already should be a known fact? That should be understood. We're going to get there. Don't keep bothering me about it, okay? Or, you know, don't think you, you know what I'm saying? Cynthia got the ring, probably the dress, everything planned out. She just needs him to reimburse her the funds. <laughs> for this girl. I mean, and she's a woman, a grown, full-ass woman. Don't been through some things, and she's still at, like, this is her first time at the rodeo. I don't know what's going on, Cynthia. I really don't know, but anyway, going back to the commentary, it says, we talk about it all the time, she continued. I've been married before. Mike's been married before. We have kids already, so it's no marathon. We're enjoying the process. <laughs> really? Really? No, Cynthia, you're trying to win the marathon. You're trying to sprint. Okay, when it's a, a cross country type race we're running, you know, it takes endurance and perseverance to get to the end of that journey before you say, I do. You ain't even started, you just really cross the starting point of this relationship with you and Mike Hill. You ain't listening to what Karen is telling you, probably what your mama done told you, probably what your sister done told you. No, you ain't done none of this. You just want to be missing somebody. And it might catch you with a catch-22. You're going to be at the uh, 
the uh, divorce court again, going through the same scenario that you've been through with Peter. Okay. Girl, check yourself. Check yourself, Cynthia. But that's all I had for this entertaining story that I had to get my key keys about because Cynthia and I lost some mind. And I hope Candy help her find it in due time before she goes and throw herself off a cliff calling it a marriage. And then six months later, she'll be up in the courthouse trying to get a divorce. So that was um, breaking trending news in social media world today. Given to us none other from Atlanta Black Star. Check them out. Okay, I tend to do. Every time I try to look for a story, they have some good ones, okay? But that's all I have for that story. Peace and blessings to you all, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.